What is going on lads and welcome back to another eFootball 2022 Dream Team Player Review. Today we're taking a look at PSG's Donnarumma, who is an absolute monster, top three goalkeeper in the game in my personal opinion. We will see why in just a minute. But yeah, this is a this is a brilliant player lads. I mean his reflexes are probably his biggest asset I would say. His just his physique, his reflexes, his reactions. You'll see this save here kind of sums up everything he's about. Makes a save, makes a bad call and then makes it back up again. So we did sign a Donnarumma back. I have tested all these players that I'm reviewing with 100 games or more. We did sign Donnarumma really from day one. Uh, he does have a featured card as well. When you max him out, he goes to 26 levels. We maxed him out. You get the featured card as you see here. And he does cost 390,000 GP. So this is what I have boosted him up to. This is how I have trained Donnarumma. As you can see there, huge emphasis on the goalkeeper reflexes. Not so much a massive emphasis on catching or awareness, and we'll get to that in just a second. But Donnarumma lads, to me, as I said, he is top three goalkeepers. I would put him in there with Oliver Kahn, um, and I would put him there, you know, maybe with Donnarumma then as well as one other goalkeeper that we'll get to in a later review. A lot of people have been asking me for it, but he goes to a 94 overall. He's 390,000 GP, which puts him right in the ballpark of... He's not like for, I suppose, if you're just starting building a squad and you don't want to spend that much GP on a goalkeeper, but like he's not as expensive as Oblak or Neuer or Courtois or Allison. He's ripe in the sweet spot, I think, for like a mid to end game uh, goalkeeper that you can kind of boost them up as best as you possibly can. Like Mendy and Sommer and those type of players are a lot cheaper, but they don't have the stats, they don't have the physique, and they're definitely not as good in my opinion. So if we go in and we look the, at the actual you know definition of how... Uh, Konami described the player stats and what they mean for goalkeeper. You will see exactly why in a couple of the clips I'm about to show you guys in a minute, why exactly reflexes seem to be the OP stat this year. If you haven't checked out my goalkeeper, train your goalkeeper up to be a beast video, I will leave a link in the description below or on the screen now. I would definitely recommend you guys check that out because it does help to get your heads around how the goalkeepers react with their animations this year. And I think reflexes are key. So if you guys want to get the best possible build for your goalkeeper and you're just kind of struggling to decide which way you want to put him up, you can go over to eFootballDB and compare the best stats. You can give him whatever play style you're playing at and then mess around with the rest of the stats to get his stats up as best as possible. But you're going to see clip after clip here, lads, of Donnarumma and his reflexes and rea his reactions and just his overall animations of when he actually goes to save something, he gets it nearly nine times out of ten. Yes, he is prone to a couple of errors, which we'll get to at the end, and he might be docked a point or so, but he is just an absolute intimidating monster in the goals. You can see here, yes, it's a manual save, but just because Donnarumma is in goals, as I've seen a lot of players kind of like take on shots where they nearly try to walk the ball in, because I've had matches where, you know, he's made five, six saves like this, where if he's not saving it, he's he's adjusting it, or he's he's making the, the player really work hard to finesse it into the bottom corner. And if you're defending well, um, he will save you. You know what I mean? He will save you at least once or twice per game. He can be the difference maker, which is what you need from a man between the sticks. You'll see here, it's the same clip I showed a minute ago, but he's up, he's alert, and it's the same here as well as you'll see. He gets beat, it's a brilliant pass in, but he's out with his feet. He's back up again. That's what I like about him. It's not just the initial save. Some goalkeepers will make a really, really good save, and then they'll just kind of stay on the ground or they'll like have no awareness as to where they, where they are. Donnarumma, even with his awareness in the low 80s, he seems to have that built-in awareness that you don't need to boost up his stats compared to other goalkeepers. Again, he saves on the right side, he saves on the left side. There is a couple of issues with him sometimes when he gets beaten by the angles, but I think that's more an issue with the goalkeepers in eFootball and in Dream Team itself. As you see there, he covers. That's a really good finesse shot from, from my opponent there that I'm playing against, but again, he does have that covered as best as he possibly can, and then you can see the beautiful low punt kick out as well, which brings us into half time. But again, this is just training mode, lads, and you'll just see testing out a couple of clips here in a second with his, with his passing and all that sort of stuff. He's just a big unit, man. He's just a big unit, and he very rarely makes a mistake unless you get caught at the separate angle. Like, if he comes out to get the ball he more than likely gets it, which is what you want from your goalkeeper. You don't want being, you know, like kind of thinking about, oh, is he going to save this? Is he going to make a mistake? Like I have Ter Stegen as well, and he's nowhere near as reliable. 
And you can see the range of passing here. You can see that he has got this stun and shot kind of powered up passing down to a T as well, which can get you out of a bit of a bind. Now, look, he does have issues. I think one of the biggest issues with him is kind of the player reactiveness or the player reactions, which is kind of, you know, you're not going to be able to save that many shots if they go into the bottom corner. But a lot of the time with Donnarumma, not so much since the last patch, he can get caught where he's just kind of flapping at the ball. Now, does this really take from him? I don't think so because I still think he is an absolute beast and every goalkeeper is going to make a mistake or two. So I do give him a rating of 9 out of 10. I think he's an absolute monster. He's my favorite goalkeeper in the game. The only goalkeeper I would probably recommend ahead of him is Oliver Kahn or if you're looking for a cheap option, somebody like Lafont. But I think he's an absolute unit, lads. You will not go wrong with him if you train him up perfectly. Let me know what you guys think. Check out my other player review as well, the first in this series, which was Pedri Barcelona's centre midfielder, who is unbelievable. Um, he was our first 10 out of 10. But yeah, Donnarumma comes, about, comes up with one of the best ratings that I would give out for a player review. I'll be back quite soon. Let me know if you have him or if you'd be interested in getting him after watching this review. I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Hope you're enjoying the videos lately. Peace.